right? That was almost cool. I'm Kim. I'm Jack. I'm new. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. You still have that new guy smell. <laughs> um, can I have my apple back? Oh, sorry. Well, maybe I'll see you around, Kim. Maybe you will. So, what are you doing at Bobby Wasabi? You should be training at the best dojo in town. Really? What do you know about karate? Hey! I guess you do know a little something about karate. <laughs> this place made me a black belt. Everything at the Black Drag. I was hoping we'd be on the same team, Jack. But now, I'm gonna have to take you down. You know, I think you have a little crush on me. Ew, no. Yeah, I think you do. <laughs> so, are you gonna be able to do this? I don't know. Your whole dojo's counting on you. If I do it, will you admit you have a crush on me? I do not have a crush on you. <laughs> Right? Kim, what are you doing here? I quit the Black Dragon. You guys were all right in the tournament. The way I see it, you need all the help you can get. Whoa, Mora. Huh, never noticed him before. Okay, hang on. So you didn't notice a 600-pound custodian, but you did notice when Donna Tobin changed her ponytail from left to right. <laughs> okay, first... It was right to left. Second, it wasn't a ponytail. It was a French braid. That's it. Jack, you can't do this. You promised Rudy. But I didn't. No can. Wow, you hear that, Jack? Our friend spent all night in a garage writing a comeback movie for Bobby Wasabi. What's bad about that? <laughs> you want to know why he's here? Because when I say I can deliver, what happens? Oh, that's right. I deliver. And Bobby Wasabi is gonna give it back. <laughs> you know, just your average everyday disco bathroom. What's up, dude? Oh, wait, Kim, you're into Ricky Weaver? Uh, no. I'm not even sure who Ricky Weaver is. No. Really, Kim? Cause your locker's a huge fan. I can't believe because of you that overgelled pretty boy is coming to our school. I think he's got a doll's head. Jack, it's so predictable that a guy like you would be jealous of Ricky. What? I'm not. I'm not jealous. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Ricky, this is uh. Uh. Jack. Jack, that's it. This is gonna make Grace's head explode. <laughs> Wow. Smooth. Jack. Why, Kim? Seriously, I will hurt you. She's just so psyched that she won the essay contest. It's not really a contest. My record company makes me do these dumb school concerts. So, I just go through the pictures and pick out the hottest girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait, so that's why Kim won? Because she's the hottest girl? Yeah. Why? You, you guys don't have a thing, do you? No. Cool. Because after I dance with her, I'm gonna bring her backstage, make my move on her, then dump her. Ricky! Kim, there you are. Wow. I've never seen you in a dress before. Are you wearing lip gloss? No. Why, does it look okay? Well, there's something you should know about Ricky. The contest you won was a fake. He just looked at your picture and thought you were cute. Ricky is not that shallow, Jack. He seriously thought I was cute? <laughs> After the concert, he's gonna take you backstage, make a move on you, and then dump you. He does it in every city. I know what this is about, Jack. You don't like Ricky, so you're making up lies about him to make him sound like some kind of monster. He is a monster! A private jet flying, San Francisco burger buying, hot tub and doll haired monster. Okay, that's just a big bowl of word salad. Check, you're unbelievable. What are you doing here? 
I'm not letting you up there. Jack, I'm dancing with Ricky. Jack, I'm fine. And looks like you were right. Congratulations. Uh, bye bye, Ricky. Wow. She throws pretty good for a girl. Looks like you messed around with the wrong person. I don't understand. She's the first girl in 20 schools that would have let me kiss her. Well, Kim's not like the others. On the outside, she's like a cute little lamb. But on the inside, she's like a vicious killer lamb. Hey. I saw the light on. What are you doing here? Just a little late night workout. Hmm. Hey, Ed, Jack, just so we're clear, you know I can take care of myself, right? Yeah, I know. You just won the gold medal in the Ricky Toss. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having my back, Jack. No problem. You know, I had some really expensive cheeseburgers for lunch today. But you know what? I think the ones at Circus Burger are actually better. You want to grab one? Sure. So, Milton, Julie, I hear you guys have chemistry together. <laughs> they can't see each other anymore. You know why? Because of you and Ty. But I got news for you, mister. Oh, okay, it's okay, okay, th thank you. Thank you, Kim. You know who we should invite? Brad Kathy Davis. <laughs> Brad's a good guy. Yeah, Kathy's nice. Where's Brad? Um, I don't know. I just started dancing, turned around, and he was gone. Huh? That's weird. <laughs> so, um, where's Kathy? She's, you know, we're... we're... Having a great time, hanging out, tearing it up. She didn't show, did she? No. So, um, I see your girl Kathy finally showed up. Yeah, she's over there dancing with your boy Brad. What? So, uh, since there, do you think we should? We could, but do you think yeah, it would? Might. Maybe it won't. What if it does? Yeah, we probably should. Yeah, let's get some chips. I like chips. All right. I'd say I give you another three bucks. That's it! Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, Kim. Maybe you can make a meal out of... That's right. We're on television. Hey, everybody! Kim has a crush on that goth dude from the yogurt shop with the detachable ponytail! I do not! Wait, that ponytail's not real? <laughs> the world of men and hey, some Jack. women. Jack, I was down in the market and I picked you up these bow ding stones. Oh. Kind of had my heart set on a glow-in-the-dark ninja bobblehead, but no, no. Rocks are cool. By rotating them in your hand, it will center you, build your chi, and help you compete. Hey, can I see those first? I know things didn't turn out the way you wanted, but you proved you belonged here. So, Jack, you uh, want to hang out Saturday night? Yeah, sure. What do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. Uh... Hey, maybe we can swing by the Riverside Country Club for the Swans Corcotillion Ball or something? <laughs> Jack, are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. But I am not going to any ball. I hate tuxedos, I can't dance. Oh, and one more thing, I am a dude. Hey, Kim, snag the last piece of red velvet cake for you. Thanks, I got an apple. I know you're mad about the cotillion. But trust me, you do not want me there. My manners are horrible. Hey, Kim. Sup, brochacho? <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. Who are you and what's a brochacho? Oh, this is the guy who stepped up and asked me to the cotillion when you, you know, didn't. Although he's been here for just a short time, we've become very close. What's your name again, hun? Brody. Oh, his name's Brody. Ooh, I like that. So, uh... Brody, uh, you're taking Kim to the cotillion? Yeah. Kind of like putting on a tuxedo and dancing the night away with my favorite lady. You've been here for three seconds. How is she your favorite lady? 
He said I'm his favorite lady. <laughs>